Typhoon Hagibis remains a very powerful and dangerous typhoon today with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure estimate of 927 millibars at 12 noon Japan Standard Time this October 11th. The storm is a stage 8 on the CDPS scale for its potential landfall location at Shimoda. The storm size expectations have gone down slightly but the rainfall potential has risen. We could see 24 inches of rain over the mountain regions of central Japan. Here is the storm's current location, 28.1 degrees north, 137.8 east. Look at the size of the wind field, up to 300 nautical miles extending out to the eastern sides there and into 200s on the western side. 228 miles from Torishima right now, 417 from Tanabe, 459 from Hamamatsu, 522 from Yokohama and 539 from Tokyo. The storm continues to draw nearer, although it's only expected to make landfall late Saturday. Gale advisories are now up in force for many parts of the southern shores. Ogasawara Islands still as well, and the Amami Islands, the whole of Kyushu, most of Shikoku, and also many parts of Honshu. Expected rainfall, as I mentioned already, could see 24 inches of rain. That's around 600 millimeters of rain for some areas. And uh, for lower lying regions, it will be a little bit less, but we could still be looking up towards and above 10 inches of rain over widespread portions of central and eastern Japan. The storm trail, you can see it shifting off towards the northeast there as well. Even parts of Hokkaido could see rainfall amounts of 3 inches or greater uh, and tropical storm conditions over almost all of the Japanese islands, the main islands, over the next couple of days. Sea surface temperatures will be fairly warm for a little while longer, 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. They do drop off a ledge just before landfall. Wind shear will have its way with the storm as well before it strikes, so we do expect the storm will weaken, but it will remain large and powerful. The size is very important to consider. Uh, as you see there, the green areas, that's tropical storm force winds, gale force, potentially dangerous, affecting pretty much the whole region. Moves off towards the northeast, and then is long gone by the time we get towards the middle of next week. So the storm remains very dangerous, even though it is weakening. We did expect that to happen, maybe a little bit quicker than what it has done so far. We could still see a landfall with winds of greater than 100 miles per hour. Chance of tropical storm force winds are very high now on a lot of these locations. 95% at Shimoda, 93 at Shizuoka, 93% in Tokyo. This is what expect, what's expected from the models. A gradual weakening from here on in. It's already started that process um, and it will probably weaken more rapidly if and when the eye collapses. Wind shear will start to rise significantly later on today and will be very high by tomorrow. Sea surface temperatures, as pointed out, will drop off steeply late tonight into tomorrow. And the track forecast is pretty much set in stone. So the storm's current appearance, you can see it on the visible, still looking rather pretty, as you can see there. Although underneath all of that appearance, you can see the uh, water vapor, one of the infrared channels. And just how the eye is showing signs of crumbling. It's put on quite a show over the last few hours, but especially if we look to this rainbow infrared, the cloud tops particularly are waning quite a lot into the minus 60s now, where we'd usually expect minus 70s for a strong category 4 or 5. Uh, and the eye could be on the brink of collapse. We'll have further updates throughout this evening on the Force 13 channel. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.